Hello everybody. Today we're going to go over the variable blocks. At first it looks like not much in there in the list, but if you look at it, this it this is uh more complex than uh, it actually looks. What variables are they're basically location where you save something. It's something we create that where we want to save a value that then we later want to report somewhere or we want to use that value to check something against something else. Scratch uh, gives you a default uh, value or a default variable right here and what this is is this is a reporter block. A reporter block basically just holds a value that it reports back when it's called and it can be used as a check for several things and this is how we manipulate the bar this variable we uh, we can set the variable to something we can change the variable by a certain number and, and this one here is changes it by a certain amount of numbers you give it This one uh, shows the variable and this one hides the variable. And I first thought this looks like nothing, but it gets a little more complex because the more variables you use, the more you can manipulate things on your program. To create an actual variable, you click here on the top left right here that says make a variable you can create own, create your own variables and we've done this in the in some of the projects we covered before and now if you do this drop the menu you can see that you have the option of time here for all of these blocks now you can control time using these blocks and another uh, feature that these variables have is to make a list and we did do a list before I believe it was for the project where we had the uh, chat bot maybe I think so yes it was definitely for the project where uh, we had the shot the chatting bot so if you ask yourself how do why would I want to create a list um, many reasons you can actually create something similar like Alexa where you teach it and it learns like you ask questions and things like that and then you can uh, teach it to answer different things like the shot the shot bot we had in one of the previous projects and uh, these are the blocks that are under under the uh, make a list once you create an actual list you can do many things with that list you can add things to it delete or delete all we're gonna cover this later uh, I'm gonna try to create projects where we use a lot of different of the blocks we have not used yet now this one inserts things at one of okay this one adds an item to the list Okay, so it all adds it depending on the element you give it here. This is basically the position. Whatever you tell it to insert here, so this would be what you want, want it to insert at a uh, position 1. This, on the other hand, replaces the item's content with the specified content. So let's say I inserted a uh, cow at uh, right here at one. 
and I'm like, oh, I don't want a cow anymore. I want to replace it w with a dog. So what this block here does is it goes on element one or list item number one of the list toys and uh, we'll replace it with instead of cow we'll replace it with dog this one just uh, basically gives us the item value of the position we give it so we give position one or list item number one of the list toys it'll give us what's in that specific number this will give us the total amount of things inside the list so it'll give us a count of how many items we have in it oh sorry correction that does not do that this basically what it does is um, let's say my list had cow dog uh, cat if I ask it to tell me Uh, I don't number where where does cow list it basically gives me the index where the cow is listed at this one here is the one that gives me the length of how many items are in the list this one here checks if the list contains a certain item or phrase depending on what we're saving on our list this here shows our list and this one here hides our list so you can manipulate the list uh, very easily but with a lot of different blocks and again these blocks don't appear unless we actually make a list if we didn't have a list we wouldn't have that set of blocks you have to create that list to have those set of blocks pop up now let's look at the my blocks these are user made blocks let's see we've never actually used my blocks Ooh. add an input add an input well, okay, add a number or text input, add a an input for a boolean and add a label. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, so this one defines a custom block. And uh, I'm not too familiar with this one since this is the first time I've actually clicked on that button. But let me see what I can find on them. Okay, so this I believe is how you create your own procedures or your own uh, set of functionality we're used to having scratch give us a lot of the things that we need but here I let you cut uh, do your own your own programming your own control of how you want things to be manipulated so for example here I define this good morning right as a label which then I can use other code to make it do something I can make yeah so it's you're creating your own logic here basically it's it's kind of strange i guess let me see according to scratch uh 
this is how you do procedures your own procedures not just using scratch procedures because um they cut a lot of the math for you when they do all this kind of stuff for us like uh this stuff they cut off a lot of it so a lot of the logic we find behind it we don't get to see how exactly it works but when you do mm, make your own block you can create your own idea on how you want something to behave when that is executed We're definitely gonna have to uh, use this in one of our projects or something so that we can get more familiar with it Um, yeah, this is totally new to me. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and they go away when I get rid of them. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, we'll uh, look into those in more detail. In a uh, later video, we'll try to do some in a project so that we can uh, understand them a little better. But that covers at least um, the block section. We'll be covering uh, a little more on these topics uh, on our next video. I want to see if we can learn a little more on these guys. I am curious on how do you add your own if possible. But uh, yeah, we'll look into this in the next video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.